I apologize to the Kimi if, uh, you know, if I've ruined his race, but um, no, this sort of thing happens. Quitting a race is a painful experience for any driver, but what if it were for the strangest reasons? So counting back for number 10, we have the strange top retirements from the F1 race history. Watch out for number one though. 2005 Chinese Grand Prix, Juan Pablo Montoyo. Our first event comes from the 2005 Chinese Grand Prix held in Shanghai and involving the Juan Pablo Montoya of the McLaren team. With high expectations of grabbing the Constructors' Championship, Montoya began the race. Unfortunately for him, it didn't go quite as well as planned. He was driving well and running fourth when he encountered a significant problem at the exit of turn 10. He ran slightly wide and hit a dislodged drain cover, a heavy metal grate that had come loose from its position. The impact was severe, puncturing the front right wheel and causing substantial damage to the car's floor and radiator. The cover, weighing around 20 kilograms, had the potential to cause much more damage or even a severe accident. The race was momentarily disrupted as the safety car was deployed to allow marshals to remove the debris and secure the track. As the damage was irreparable on the track, Montoya was forced to quit the race after this freak accident. 2010 Monaco Grand Prix Jensen Button With a clear goal of experiencing glory, Jensen Button's experience at the 2010 Monaco Grand Prix was a dark turn of events, all the price for a simple mistake. As the reigning world champion and championship leader, he entered the Monaco Grand Prix weekend all hyped up. During the pre race preparations, a mechanic accidentally left a cooling bunk in the left-hand radiator duct of Button's car. The bunk is typically used to keep debris out of the cooling system when the car is stationary, but must be removed before the race to allow proper airflow and prevent the engine from overheating. Despite discovering the issue before the race started, the team couldn't rectify it in time, and the impact of this mistake became evident almost immediately after the race began. Button only managed a couple of laps before the overheating issue forced him to retire from the race. This incident was particularly disheartening for World Button and the McLaren team given the high stakes of the Monaco Grand Prix. 2004 Japanese Grand Prix Mark Webber Almost similar to the recent case, the 2004 Japanese Grand Prix at Suzuka saw Mark Webber unusually retiring from the race for technical reasons that couldn't be identified at the right time. Driving well on full throttle, Webber's Jaguar R5 experienced severe overheating issues in the cockpit during the race. He began to feel an intense heat originating from his seat. Initially, the source of the heat couldn't be identified by his mechanics. During a pit stop in a desperate attempt to solve the problem, his team poured a bucket of ice-cold water onto the seat. This unconventional method provided only temporary relief. The heat quickly returned, becoming unbearable and causing Weber to suffer minor burns on his thigh. The situation reached a critical point and Weber just had to get out of there as his very life was at stake. And sadly, he was forced to retire from the race on lap 20 due to this extreme discomfort and potential danger. 1998 Italian Grand Prix Johnny Herbert For Johnny Herbert and his sober team, the 1998 Italian Grand Prix at Monza was a nightmare turned reality. The trouble began on lap 13 of the race when Herbert's car unexpectedly spun off into the gravel at the second Lesmo corner, which at the time was thought to be Herbert's fault. However, the real cause was far more unusual and embarrassing. Early in the day, a sober mechanic had accidentally left a spanner in Herbert's cockpit during pre-race preparations. This tool gradually made its way into the footwell of the car as the race progressed. By lap 13, it had jammed the pedals, preventing Herbert from properly braking as he approached the high-speed Lesmo corner. The result was an unavoidable spin and subsequent retirement from the race. To make matters worse, Herbert went on to call the mechanic stupid and decided to leave Sauber later that year. 2007 Australian Grand Prix Christian Albers Ever had trouble driving because of the radio? Well, hold that thought as this next weird cause of retirement is for sure quite unthinkable. Driving for the Spiker F1 team, Christian Albers' race at the 2007 Australian Grand Prix had a miscalculated error. Distracting him from the central critical task of driving during the 10th lap, Albers' radio cable came loose and became twisted in his seatbelt. This unexpected situation required his immediate attention. As he attempted to free the tangled cable, Albers missed his braking point and subsequently went off the track, colliding with the tire barrier and making Albers the first driver to retire in the 2007 Formula 1 season. Despite his early exit from the Australian Grand Prix, Albers' career in Formula 1 was marked by various other notable moments, including a fifth-place finish at the controversial 2005 United States Grand Prix and his involvement in the Midland Sat Spiker team transition. 2004 British Grand Prix Olivier Panis The 2004 British Grand Prix at Silverstone
Silverstone was a race filled with action, but one of the more peculiar moments was the unexpected and unusual exit of Olivia Panis from the race. Panis was driving for the Toyota team and was running mid-pack when he encountered an odd issue. His fire extinguisher malfunctioned. This wasn't a common technical failure one expected in the extremely pre-calculated world of F1. The fire extinguisher went off unexpectedly, filling the cockpit with foam and making it impossible for Panis to continue driving safely, and at lap 16, he had to stop competing. Panis's race weekend had already been challenging. He received a 5-place grid penalty for impeding Felipe Massa during qualifying, which pushed him further back on the starting grid. Despite these setbacks, Panis had hoped to make a strong showing, but the unexpected fire extinguisher mishap ended his race prematurely. 2008 Canadian Grand Prix Lewis Hamilton Even the legendary driver Lewis Hamilton is no stranger to these dramatic retirements. This happened back into the 2008 Canadian Grand Prix, involving Hamilton, Kimi Raikkonen, and Nico Rosberg. After Adrian Sutil's Force India car caught fire during the race, a safety car was deployed. As is typical in such situations, many of the leading drivers, including Hamilton and others, took the opportunity to pit. After refueling, Raikkonen and Kubica found themselves at the pit exit waiting for the light to turn green, as the exit was temporarily closed due to the safety car. Hamilton, who had been leading the race and had a longer pit stop, approached the pit exit at speed and failing to notice the red light. As Ryokunen and Kubica waited side by side, Hamilton braked too late, swerving into the back of Ryokunen's Ferrari. The impact instantly forced both Hamilton and Ryokunen out of the race. Rosberg, following close behind, then collided with the back of Hamilton's car, damaging his front wing but managing to continue after repairs. 1997 Australian Grand Prix Gene Alessi The 1997 Australian Grand Prix at Albert Park in Melbourne was the season opener, but for Benetton's driver, Gene Alessi, it was a literal hell of an event. Alessi's race started off promisingly, as he found himself in a competitive position. However, as the race progressed, a critical issue arose. His car's radio system failed. This malfunction meant Alessi couldn't hear his team's calls for pit to fuel. Despite the team desperately displaying pit signs, including a giant board from their two-meter man, Nick Rith, Alessi remained on track, unaware of the urgent need to refuel. The situation worsened as Alessi stayed out for five laps longer than he should have. As a result, his Benetton eventually ran out of fuel, forcing him to retire from the race while he was in second place. 1995 Italian Grand Prix Gerhard Berger The 1995 Italian Grand Prix at Monza had one of the most unusual retirements in Formula 1 history, involving Gerhard Berger of Ferrari. Gerhard Berger was driving smoothly for Ferrari and even leading at one point during the race. Unfortunately, on lap 33, Berger's race was cut short. And why? It was not actually his fault nor his team's, as an onboard TV camera from his teammate Gene Alessi's car came loose and hit Berger's Ferrari, damaging the front suspension. Sadly, Retirement was the only option. 1977 German Grand Prix Hans Heer Standing out from these previous standouts is the case of Hans Heer at the 1977 German Grand Prix at Hockenheim. In a way, it's both badass and hilarious at the same time. Well, Hare was driving for the ATS team in a Penske PC Ford. Unfortunately, he failed to qualify for the race, just missing the cutoff to start the race. However, Hare devised a plan to participate anyway. On race day, he positioned himself in the pit lane, ready to jump in in if an opportunity presented itself. Luck was on Hare's side, at least temporarily. At the start of the race, there was a collision involving player Regon Ozzy and Alan Jones, which caused enough confusion for Hare to slip onto the track unnoticed. He managed to complete nine laps before his car encountered mechanical issues and had to retire. It was only then that the race officials realized that he had been participating illegally due to his disqualification. Funny enough, he is the only driver to have a DNQ, did not qualify, DNF, did not finish, and DSQ, disqualified, all in the same race. Well, that concludes the craziness for now. With more content, we'll be here next time. So, better subscribe now. Don't forget to leave a like. And did we miss any? Let us know in the comments. Catch you in the next one.